Number 41, professional application. Two football players collide head-on in midair while trying to catch a thrown football. The first player is 95 kilograms and has an initial velocity of 6 meters per second, while the second player is 115 kilograms and has an initial velocity of negative 3.5 meters per second. What is their uh, velocity just after impact if they cling together? So, what type of a collision is this? If they cling together, it's an inelastic collision. Okay? And if we're talking about collisions, right, we're thinking about conservation of momentum. So therefore, I'm going to be using this equation on over here on the right-hand side. That says basically that the momentum before the collision should be equal to the uh, momentum after the collision. Now, before the collision, we have two objects that are separated, right? We have the football player running to the right, this football player running to the left. And then after they collide somewhere, oops, somewhere in the middle, uh, they're going to cling together and therefore they're going to act as one single system or one sing and have one single mass. So let's expand these terms a little bit. So the momentums before the collision, remember there's two objects separated. So it's going to be the, foot, uh, the momentum of the first player plus the momentum of the second player. And that should then equal the total momentum when those two players are now clinging together. So remember, momentum is mass multiplied by velocity. So therefore, the momentum of the first player will equal his mass or her mass multiplied by then that velocity before the collision, plus then the momentum of the second player, which is the mass of the second player multiplied by the velocity of that second player before the collision. And that will then equal the total mass, right, multiplied by uh, the final velocity. Since, it, since they act as now one unit. We're trying to find the velocity just after impact, and therefore we're trying to find this final velocity. So thinking about the math, all I need to do is just divide out the mass, uh, the total mass. So now expanding on this, well not expanding, but rewriting this, uh, it's gonna be now M1V1B plus M2V2B, right? All over the total mass, which remember the total mass is really M1 plus M2 because we're just adding the masses, and that's equal to then the final velocity. So this is the equation that we need here, right? So now let me just move this up a little bit. I'm gonna to try to just sneak the um, uh, numbers on in at the, actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put the numbers over here on the right-hand side. So now um, I'm just gonna start plugging in. So the initial, right, the mass of the first player was 95 kilograms, so it's 95.0, multiplied by his or her velocity, which is six meters per second, plus then the second mass is 115, multiplied by that velocity, moving in the opposite direction, therefore it's gonna be negative 3.50. And this is all then divided by the uh, total mass, so it's 95 kilograms for the first player, plus the 115 kilograms for the second player. And then remember this will all equal the final velocity. So now when I just plug this into the calculator, voila, we will get our answer. And 95 times six plus 115 times negative 3.5, and then divide that now by parentheses 95 plus 115. And we get a final velocity now of, and it's positive, uh, 0.798, if we consider rounding, right? All right, and that is in meters per second. Um, so that sign, the sign of the velocity there tells us that the final system will be moving uh, to the right. And that should kind of make sense. I mean, uh, the initial the first player here, the mass is less than the second player, but notice that, you know, proportionally speaking, the velocity here is almost twice that of the second player. All right, so that should make sense. That's the final velocity. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for tuning in. I hope this video helped. Uh, please give us a hand if you can by hitting that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. And I look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.